AP Statistics. This is a Tuesday, and I want to give you feedback on the Chapter 8 assessment. Uh, what you're looking at is a really nice solution to um, the third question, which is a confidence interval for means. Um, and so for feedback here, let me highlight some of the things you need to do for four points. Basically, you get one point for doing the conditions. Um, notice in the solution, they recognize it's a random sample. Um, with n being less than 30, you have to make a dot plot or box plot of your data and look for any outliers or skewness. If you don't see any of that, that is evidence that your population is normalish enough. Um, and then we have to show the independence with the 10% rule. The second point is obtained by identifying the interval you're using by name or by formula. And what you can see is this person says one sample t interval for population means, and she also provides the formula. Uh, the third thing is showing your work, and this is a nice job showing the work and having the correct interval. And the fourth point is obtained by the correct uh, interpretation. So in this last sentence, she says, we are 99% confident that the interval from 4.49 to 5.594 captures the true mean of the dissolved oxygen level in the stream. This is a really good solution. So after watching this video, I want you to open up the assessment. If you can, I know Schoology is crashing today, but see if you can find it today and look at the feedback I provided. Uh, you'll see a different solution provided by another student, um, and both of these are really good. Also, if I'm not mistaken, if you look at the multiple choice questions, if you get those wrong, they provide solutions, not only the right answer, but solutions. Um, I hope to see you tomorrow, Wednesday at 1015. We'll give you some more feedback and then talk about two sample intervals uh, of what you're learning about today.